guys jungle bob here today's video is going to be a little different it's going to be about a scooter it's a uh, swagtron swagger 5 uh, battery powered scooter and we're going to replace the power control module on it and uh, the, the top cover uh, was broken on it as well so if you're interested in that stay tuned we'll get right into it It's a Swagtron Swagger 5 scooter. I've got me a little tripod set up here so y'all can see what I'm doing when I get ready to work on it. But uh, anyway, I've had this thing for about a year now. The customer brought it in last year. And uh, the battery charges up, but he couldn't power it on and off. And the problem was, let's get down in here, on this power control module, right in there there's supposed to be a little button welded right in there that when you press down on this cover here you press this button here and you see this is the flip side of it it's got a little tit that sticks out that mashes that down and that's all that was messed up on it so we ordered this part last i want to say march of last year and maybe longer than that so this is the longest part i've ever waited on and the people at swagtron are kind of weird they only have a website uh, you can't talk to anybody on customer service anyway the parts have been back ordered this part i think this and this cover was about 50 bucks 60 bucks and this thing has been on back order for over a year and i finally get an email monday morning that says hey we got your part we're shipping it and today is the day uh, I've been doing the tracking on it. It's supposed to come in the mail sometime today. I called the customer up and he was like, wow, he goes, I thought you ran out with my scooter. And anyway, so we're going to get this going today and I'm going to show you how to replace it. All right, guys, so the first thing, like I said, this cover was broken. Or well, it was, the button was broken on here as well. So this is the new part cover. And we got an airplane coming. But anyway, so this just pops on here. And when you put it back on, you're going to want to seal it up with some uh, glue, maybe some super glue or whatever. So we'll put this aside for now. And then, like I showed you, this, this whole power control panel has to be replaced. And there's three little bitty tiny screws, one here and two up top, right there and there. And you got to get your little precision screwdriver set out, and you screw those out. I've already taken those out. And then this control module just lifts straight out like that. And you'll notice it's just got connectors on it. So we're gonna take these connectors off. It's got this little piece here with a connector on it. You got another connector right there. So, and they're all different connectors, so you're not gonna to have to worry about getting them in the wrong place. But this wire here goes down through the steering column here. And to get that off, you need an Allen head. There's four Allen head screws, two on each side. One here, one here, and two on the other side. And once you get that loose, then this just picks on up out of here. Gotta be careful with it. And that comes out, and that'll expose the other wires. And all you're looking for on this one to get rid of I mean, to undo is these right here. So you just trace them down, the colors that you're looking for. And it's these two connectors right here. Now the new control module is gonna come and we're gonna, once it gets here, I'm gonna open it up and show you and we'll just disconnect these connectors here and hook the new connectors on and reinstall it the reverse way. So stay tuned. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning here. I just want to go ahead and get a preview started on this and we'll finish the install later on this afternoon. I'll be back. So the mail just came and we got the new part in. You can see it's got all the connections on it. And this is the piece right there. And once I get the old one off, we can look at it a little better. I don't know if y'all can see with that glare, but that's the piece that was messed up on the old one right there. So 
let's get this apart. Guys, so where we left off, these clips, you just mash down on one side right here. And it should just pull out. Just be careful with them. Same thing on this one. There's two down here. Mash down on that clip, squeeze these in. And that should be it for the, uh, this should just pull on out now. Okay. What's holding this up? We got one more right here. It, guys it's the first time I've done this and there's one more gotta dig it out though it's right there now should just be able to pull this on out uh oh got one more right here on the top side they're everywhere all right There we go. Now the only piece I think we're gonna to have to transfer this over to the new one. This piece right here. But let's compare the wiring harnesses and make sure they're the same. They look the same. And then you've got Yeah, okay. So I'm going to transfer this stuff over and we'll start installing the new one. Now they look exactly the same, this being the old one. This is the piece we're going to have to take off of here. It's just a clip and we'll install it onto the wire here. And uh, they look exactly the same, so we got the right part after a year. So let's get that swapped over. All right, <clears throat> so now we've got the wires threaded back through the gooseneck here and we're just going to hook them back up color to color. They'll only go one way, every connector is different. There's one. White and red, white and red. Make sure you get them, like I said, they'll only go one way. All right. Then you got these other two. So there's four on the bottom side and one on the top side. kind of a stretch but I said they'll only go one way got that one in got that one in make sure they're secure and then carefully feed these wires back down in here carefully you don't want to pinch them because you still got to thread your screws back through. I know it's hard for y'all to tell what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna get this tucked in and I'll get back with you. Okay guys, so we've got it tucked back in now and I haven't charged the battery yet. And you can't tell because it's dark out here, but I can press the button with my finger and I can hear it beeping or doing something. So anyway, we're gonna put the, the two little screws back up there and right there. And then there's one, two, three, four. And we'll put that cover on and we're going to test it out and see if it'll work. All right, so we got it all tucked back in here nice. Let me get out of the shade. Get in the shade. 
Uh, the only thing is this this lid doesn't snap back on this cover. It fits around this edge, so we got to clean this up, and then we're going to take us some uh, good old trusty Gorilla Glue just along the edge here, and put this on here and seal it off. And hopefully, you'll see me riding this on the next video. Guys, the moment of truth. Press the button. That's got to hold it down. There we go. All right. Let's see if it'll move. Yeah. I'm going to lift the back wheel up. It's supposed to show miles per hour as it's going. Oh, it's a front wheel drive. My bad. I'm going to lift the front wheel up. There we go. With nobody on it. It's 9.6 miles per hour. Not bad. I'm going to put a charge on it for the guy and I'm going to ride it around. Anyway. Guys, we're going to hop on and I'm going to try to ride it in the grass for a little bit, but not too much because I'm, I'm too old to be doing this kind of stuff. Alright guys, so that's it on the Swagtron SG5 scooter, how to replace the power control board. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Jungle Bob out.